Her answer would be a challenge to the country's status quo. I've come, she said, to file for divorce. Her name is Najud Ali, and her parents married her off to a man three times her age. He beat the child. He forced himself on her. So she goes to court, defying her husband, her family, and traditions, trying to escape. With her story, here's Burzu Duragahi, Middle East correspondent for the Los Angeles Times. I first met 10-year-old Najud on one of Sana'a's main streets, choked with diesel exhaust and dust, metal and scorched rubber. She'd come to help us find our way through the sewage-infested shanty town where she lives. She stood tall as my waist, in a black headscarf and a black overcoat embroidered with gold on the cuffs. What struck me was how, for such a young girl, she was steady and self-possessed. The family home was decrepit and tiny, a two-room flat filled with children, grandkids, and houseflies. Her parents were wary, knowing why I'd come. Just months earlier, they had arranged to have her married to a 30-something motorcycle delivery man. They said the groom had promised to care for her and wouldn't have sex with her until she reached puberty. They said they didn't take any money from the man, who was from their old village north of the capital. They said they did it for Najud's own good. All Najud knew was that she'd get a new dress and some presents, but her troubles started on the first night after the wedding. I went to bed, but my husband followed me, saying he wanted to sleep in my bed. I ran away, and he started to run after me, telling me that I was now his wife, and he had all the rights. He shook me with his hand, and with the stick. He wanted me to do unpleasant things. I wanted to escape, but there was nobody to help me. Najud cried all day and dreaded the nights. She told her parents what was happening, but her father told me there was nothing he could do. He said he was bound by tradition. My cousins would have killed me if I dishonored the family by requesting a divorce from my daughter. I found out that Najud's story isn't uncommon. Yemeni law sets the minimum age for marriage at 15, but tribal customs and interpretations of Islam often trump the law. A study by Sana'a University found that at least half of Yemeni girls marry before they turn 18. Najud was lucky. A relative discreetly advised her to go to court, handing her bus fare. A bewildered judge found the 10-year-old on a courtroom bench. When he heard her story, the judge had Najud's husband and father arrested and put her in the care of an uncle. The case blew the lid off an issue nobody wanted to talk about. I consult all my appointments. I think it is a very important case. Shada Nasser is one of Yemen's premier human rights lawyers, and she offered to